So here's the confusion. You see a child who has low muscle tone and, and is he eligible? Who, you know, do you send them to the regional center? Do you send them to us? So we have hypotonic cerebral palsy. We have the developmental delay with hypotonia. And then you have your myopic. So, so for less than one year, hypotonia with increased DTRs, you should send them to CCS. We'll get them into the program. So hypotonia, which you think is part of a global delay, you should send to the regional center for services in the early start program. Hypotonia, which you think is an isolated gross motor delay, you can send to CCS and we would authorize a diagnostic evaluation looking for primary myopathy. And if you have hypotonia with exaggerated primitive reflexes at any age, that gets them in the door at CCS and through the medical therapy program. This is just a list of some of the primitive uh, reflexes that go away as the brain matures, your asymmetric tonic neck reflex tonic labyrinthine, the moro, the plantar grass, the palmer grass, the parachute. Um, interesting clonus, which for a number of years I was considering clonus as a primitive reflex, um, just to get more kids into our program. But um, I was informed by the state that clonus is really just an exaggerated reflex, and not a primitive reflex. So that's no longer works. Next. So the CCS has uh, several types of, of, of cases that um, can also be, be confusing. We have um, cases that are CCS only just for the, the medical component. There's no therapy services. And we also have some children who from high income families that are receiving only the therapy services. And then you as their, their primary care um, pediatrician are actually in, in control of the therapy um, and not at the, the actual therapy unit. So um, and then we have the, uh, the children who are in CCS and in the medical therapy program. And the case management for those children and the management of their spasticity resides in the, uh, in the therapy unit. Next. So our medical therapy program um, the, the major focus of it is the physical therapy, um, occupational therapy. But then we also have these monthly uh, medical therapy conferences that some of you may have, have received um, copies of dictations for. Next. It's a, a specialty team that is uh, composed of a variety of um, disciplines. And the goal is just to bring together all of these various disciplines so the family time can be maximized um, and the child can receive, receive um, the best service. Next. So we have pediatric orthopedists and a pediatrician, uh, PTs, OTs. We have an orthotist, a very specialist who's superb. We have a social worker, a nutritionist, and the case, um, case manager. Next. Um, Dr. Tyler had referred to this as about the therapy here. Um, this is one of the complex areas. You know, families want everything done for their child, and there is a misconception out there. We just get, get them over to therapy, and the more therapy we get, the better it is. And if, if you are, are seeing a child, particularly a child who has private insurances, so they are eligible for MTP-only services, then you'll be the one that is involved in, in writing the therapy prescriptions. Thanks. And so there's, you need to make a distinction depending on the age of the child, whether the therapy is medically necessary or whether it is educationally necessary. Um, CCS will provide for the medically necessary therapy. So children who have a need for therapy so they can walk better or sit better or feed themselves better, um, that would reside in the medical therapy program. Uh, a child who needs to write their name that are, that's an educational need. And the schools actually have PTs and OTs in their system that would work with the child in that setting. Um, the, in order for CCS to provide the services, you need to be a uh, panel, part of the CCS program, which I think all of you are right now. Um, and when you request um, a therapy evaluation, then you get the report back. And then, 
when you prescribe therapy, the, the real key point is to have some goals. You know, what do you want the therapy to accomplish? And um, you know, I've been involved in the program for a number of years, and there were children that were receiving therapy twice a week for years and years and years and years, and they weren't going anywhere. And then, and now there's there's a realization that we have to have some guidelines. Someone needs to be asking the question. I mean, are we actually accomplishing what we want to accomplish? Are we really truly helping the child? And so you, in communication with the therapist, can decide whether the therapy is actually accomplishing what you want to accomplish and is moving forward. Um, and that's why the, the, the therapy prescriptions are good for six months. And they, you, with your therapist, will set some goals to obtain. And at the end of six months, you ask, well, are we we're moving in a positive direction. Next. So you know, your, your role is to first do the surveillance that Dr. Tyler talked about and identify a child that needs a referral. And uh, hopefully this will help you decide on what the appropriate agency is that you could um, refer to. And then once you make the referral, to, be, to continue to be an active member of that team to make sure you're communicating with whatever agency and with whatever service provider is going on um, to function as the true medical home. That's it. Thank you very much.